Good morning, everyone. My name is Shilette Monzon, and we would like to thank you all for attending the inauguration ceremonies for PGC's Protein, Proteomics, and Metabolomics Facility, with its theme, Bridging the Gaps of Omics Research in the Philippines. To welcome everyone to this momentous event, may we please call on the Deputy Executive Director of the Philippine Genome Center, Dr. Raul V. Destura. First of all, good morning, and thank you for joining us today. On behalf of our Executive Director, Dr. Cynthia P. Saloma, it is an honor to welcome you all this morning. The unveiling today of this new facility is, I think, another manifestation of the DOST and PCR, PCHRD trust and support to the capability of the Filipino researchers. The protein, proteomics, and metabolomics facility, you see, began as a research project, which was funded by the Department of Science and Technologies, Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, or what we commonly refer to as PCHRD way back in 2019. Under the leadership of Dr. Neil Andrew Vascos, with his collaborators from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, who formed part of the Scientific Advisory Committee. His core team of science research specialists, we are pleased to have you with us as we unveil another highly technical service facility here at the Philippine Genome Center. This new laboratory for R&D with its scientific tools and equipment units will be henceforth ready to serve researchers, scientists, or faculty members and students who are pursuing research studies on metabolomics and proteomics. The PPMF team is ready to answer your queries or service requirements to those with ongoing studies or embarking on metabolomics and proteomics studies. Whether you are from health and medicine R&D, agriculture or biodiversity R&D, our team at PPMF will be glad to have a conversation with you. The ongoing pandemic is indeed very challenging to us all. However, let us not lose sight that it also became an opportunity for us to work together. Medical practitioners, molecular biologists, medical technologists, clinicians, epidemiologists, science research specialists, and many unseen government workers and different agencies volunteers and donors in the private sectors and many others, despite the incessant noise in the social media, all were contributing time and effort at these trying times. Science was undeniably heard during this pandemic and that's how it should be because what we do as researchers can contribute in forming national policy on public health and the whole genome sequencing and bioinformatics analysis that we do at PGC is part of the Department of Health's National Surveillance for COVID-19 Variant Detection, being one of those contribution or direct translation that science and R&D can be of service to the Filipinos. As government institutions, we have individual mandates. And as we open up the protein, proteomics, and metabolomics facility, we at PGC believes in the fusion of individual expertise. And we very much welcome collaborators aimed at clinical studies to better manage public health or diseases affecting Filipinos, scientific pursuits aimed at protecting and conserving the country's flora and fauna and its overall biodiversity or other proteomics and metabolomic studies from researchers nationwide. Our website, www.pgc.up.ph and at PH Genome on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter are all accessible apart from our phone lines. Should you need more information or service rates of the PPMF, 
Maraming salamat at magandang umaga muli. Maraming salamat, Dr. Distura. The launch of the PTMF is indeed something to look forward to, especially with its promise to broaden the applications and available platforms for utilizing omics technologies in the Philippines, right here in the Philippine Genome Center. The PGC would like to introduce you all to our newest core facility and its services that we'll be able to offer through this special video presentation. Let's all watch this. In expanding the applications of omics technologies in the Philippines, the Protein, Proteomics, and Metabolomics Facility, or PPMF, of the Philippine Genome Center was established to provide the necessary infrastructure for the conduct of omics studies within the country. The core omics laboratory is envisioned to facilitate the education and training of Filipino researchers in the use of multi-omics technologies. With the support of the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, the installation of PPMF was approved in 2018 as a new core facility of PGC. The facility aims to promote the continued improvement of omics-based research in the Philippines and to provide proteomic and metabolomic services for research projects conducted by local scientists. The PPMF offers a diverse set of services, from sample preparation, protein purification, characterization, quantification, to high-resolution mass spectrometry analysis. High-resolution mass spectrometry services focus on the assessment of the total protein content and total metabolite population in various test samples. The facility services include cell lysis, sample preparation, protein purification, protein characterization, which can include PAGE, Western blot, and SPR analysis, and CDORD spectroscopy, biomolecule quantification, and high-resolution mass spectrometry. The PPMF would like to invite its stakeholders to design their experiments through a modular analysis plan a customizable workflow where clients can mix and match the services they wish to avail from the facility to suit their research needs. To perform these services, PPMF is equipped with technologies such as a high-resolution mass spectrometry system, ultra-high performance liquid chromatography, fast protein liquid chromatography, multi-wavelength spectrophotometer, a surface plasmon resonance spectrometer, circular dichroism spectropolarimeter. These state-of-the-art equipment enable the PPMF to provide potential partners and collaborators a plethora of methods with which they can investigate the proteomes, metabolomes, and the biophysical properties of their target samples. The Thermo Fisher Orbitrap Fusion Tribrid High-Resolution Mass Spectrometer provides the highest resolution MS data in the country. Analysis of sample proteomes and metabolomes through this system are used for discovering biomarkers for diseases. The PPMF is also equipped with a Cytiva BioCore X100 system, which contains key functionalities required for molecular interaction research, including binding kinetics and measurements of binding affinity, specificity, and competition. The high-performing JASCO J1500 Circular Dichroism Spectrophotometer is capable of measuring biophysical properties such as protein secondary structure content. Through these analyses, relative measurements of protein stabilities may be conducted. Further analyses may also be done using the multi-wavelength spectrophotometry system with sensitivity for UV-vis absorbance, fluorescence, and chemiluminescence. Composed of a team of young researchers and laboratory staff, the Protein, Proteomics, and Metabolomics Facility aspires to contribute in the building capacity and promotion of interdisciplinary research with other Filipino scientists for the development of applied omics technologies. The PPMF is located at the second level of the Philippine Genome Center building, University of the Philippines, Diliman, Quezon City. 
The PPMF is divided into the main laboratory and the high-resolution mass spectrometry room. The main lab houses most of the equipment for molecular biology work. It also houses the biophysical analysis room and the cold room. The MS operations room, the main laboratory, the biophysical analysis room, the cold room, and the freezer bay. The protein, proteomics, and metabolomics facility moves forward to extend substantial infrastructure and provide technology platforms to service the immediate needs of the health, agricultural, forensic, and ethnicity and biodiversity programs of the Philippine Genome Center. Concurrently, PPMF aims to cater to the research needs of other principal investigators in the public and private sectors. The Philippine Genome Center, Genomics for a Better Philippines. That was such an awesome video. I think all the researchers we have with us today, especially those with interest in omics and biophysical analyses, are excited to be able to play with all the brand new toys available at the PPMF. There is, of course, the HR mass spectrometry system, which has the highest resolution of all the MS systems in the country, and is at par with the best in the Southeast Asian region. And for other analyses, they also have many equipment for characterizing target proteins for clients and collaboration partners. Right now, let us proceed to the next part of our program. The PGCPPMF recognizes that it could not come into being without the help and support of the DOST. We have invited Honorable Fortunato T. De La Peña, Secretary of the Department of Science and Technology, to give us a message for the opening of the PGCPPMF. Welcome, Secretary De La Peña. Thank you. Warmest greetings, UP President Danilo Concepcion, UP Vice President for Academic Affairs Cynthia Rose Bautista, UP Diliman Chancellor Fidel Nemenso, UP Philippine Genome Center Executive Director Dr. Cynthia Saloma, Program Director of the PPM Facility Neil Andrew Bascos, Director Doralyn Delisay of the University of San Agustin, DOST Undersecretary Rowena Cristina Guevara, DOST PCHRD Executive Director Jaime Montoya, at sa lahat po ng nakadalo sa ating pagtitipon, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Sa uspuso ko pong ipinaabot ang aking pagbati sa pagbubukas nitong ating Protein, Proteomics, and Metabolomic Facility sa Philippine Genome Center. Marami pong napagtagumpayan si Dr. Bascos at ang kanyang mga kasamahan upang ipagpatuloy itong proyektong ito. Hindi kaila sa atin na maraming mga plano at proyektong naantala o napabagal ang USA dahil sa krisis na patuloy na kinakaharap ng ating bansa. At hindi na ay iba ang PPM Facility Project. Dahil sa pagdapo ng COVID-19 sa ating bansa at dahil ginawang COVID facility ang Philippine Genome Center, kinailangan iangkop ang mga disenyo at mga panuntunan ng PPM facility sa mga safety protocols na ipinapatupad ng ating pamahalaan. Nalimitahan din ang kakayanang makapagbigay ng hands-on training sa mga kagawaran at institusyong nais na gumamit ng mga kagamitan ng ating pasilidad. Naantala din pansamantala ang hangarin nating madala ang ating mga high school researchers dito at mabigyan natin sila ng pagkakataong mapaigi pa ang kanilang pananaliksik sa paggamit ng mga teknolohiyang meron tayo dito. Gayon paman, higit pa sa mga naging balakid ang nagawa nila Dr. Bascos 
at kanyang team sa loob ng dalawang taon. Nagawa nilang maipalaganap di lang dito kundi pati sa ibang bansa ang balitang magtatatag tayo dito sa Pilipinas ng ganitong uri ng pasilidad at serbisyo at nakatanggap sila ng favorable responses mula sa ilang institusyon. Dahil dito, nakapagbigay sila ng training sa mga kawani ng iba't ibang kumpanya at kagawaran kabilang na ang Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources Research and Development o PICARD. Marami rin kagamitan ng pasilidad ay na-install po nitong nakaraang taon kabilang na ang mass spectrometry system na talaga namang magiging kapakipakinabang di lang sa mga pananaliksik na ginagawa sa larangan ng kalusugan sa Pilipinas kundi pati na rin sa agrikultura, forensics, biodiversity at iba pa. Dilingin sa kaalaman namin sa DOST at maging sa scientific community dito sa Pilipinas ang kahalagahan ng inyong mga mitiin at mga pinagsumikapang maipasok, maisakatuparan sa pagtatag ng PPM facility. Layunin nating lahat na mapabuti ang kalidad ng pamumuhay ng ating mga kababayan ngunit ang maipahatid itong ating hangarin sa kanila ang isa sa mga bagay na kailangan pa nating paigtingin at pagbutihin. Ito pong omics ay napakabagong konsepto kung ito ay ipakikilala sa karaniwang tao bagamat ito ay matagal ng pinag-aaralan. Mahalaga pong maipabatid natin sa kanila ang mga magandang maidudulot nitong mga makabagong kagamitan at pasilidad na ating pinapasinayaan ngayong umaga. Karaniwang nakalulungkot na usapin ang mga karamdaman tulad ng kanser, atake sa puso, diabetes at mental health. Ngunit itong mga karamdaman po ito ay ilan lamang sa mga halimbawa ng mga bagay na nais nating mabigyang lunas sa pagtatatag ng PPM facility at ng Philippine Genome Center. Ito po ang isa sa mga mensaheng maaari nating isulong sa ating mga kababayan. Maaaring hindi nila agarang maunawaan ang omics, ngunit madali nilang makikilala ang mga napanggit na karamdaman. Maaari po nating gamitin ito upang di lang mabigyan ng daang mailahad sa sambayanan ng ating mga ginagawa, kundi mabigyan din sila ng pag-asa. Sa pagtatatag nitong ating PPM facility, Nabigyan po natin sila ng kasangga sapagkat sa pamamagitan ng mga teknolohiya, mga pag-aaral at mga produktong mabubuo mula dito, mabibigyan natin sila ng mas murang mga gamot at lunas dahil di na natin kailangan pang mag-angkat mula sa ibang bansa. Sa pangangailangan ding mamas produce ang mga solusyong ito, di lang po tayo makakapagtatag ng panibagong industriya, makapagbibigay din po tayo ng trabaho sa ating mga mamamayan, hopefully, in the near future. Sa ganito pong paraan siguro, mas madali po nating mailalapit sa ating mamamayan ang siyensya sa pamamaraang madali nilang mauunawaan sa mga bagay na agara nilang nakikita at nararanasan. Ay pababatid natin sa kanila na ang siyensya ay larangang binatatangi sa mga manalaliksik at dalumpasa. Sa paglalapit po natin ng siyensya sa ating mga kababayan, sana po ay mainganyo po natin silang makiisa at makilahok sa pagsulong ng ating mga layunin. Mas mapapadali po natin at mapapabilis di lang ang pagpapatupad ng ating mga programa at proyekto sa support ng ibibigay sa atin ng ating mga kababayan kundi pati ang pagkikayat ng mga maaaring mamukunan pa sa atin. Wishful thinking po kung matatawag, ngunit hindi imposible. Hanggat kaya po natin iparating sa kanila, sa ating mga mamamayan at maging sa mga mamumuhunan, na lahat po tayo ay makikinabang sa lahat ng ating pinagsusumikapan, naniniwala po ako na mahihikayat po natin sila sa atin na makipagtulungan. Iparating po natin sa kanila 
ang science po ay talagang para sa tao. Sabi nga namin sa DOST, science for the people. Hindi po natin maisusulong ang siyensya kung iilan lang sa atin ang kikilos. Hangarin po natin magkaisa ang buong bansa. Sabay-sabay po natin iangat ang kalidad ng buhay ng isa't isa. Maraming salamat sa iyo, Dr. Neil Bascos, Bascos at sa, sa inyong team. Dahil sa inyo ay napalawig pa natin ang makakayanang gawin dito sa ating Philippine Genome Center. Muli, congratulations at mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Thank you for that meaningful message, Secretary Boy de la Peña. Another driving force that will the PGCP PMF into being is the Undersecretary for Research and Development of the DOST, Dr. Rowena Cristina L. Guevara. We are proud to have her share her message for the, for the inauguration of the PPMF today. Secretary Fortunato de la Peña, President Danilo Concepcion, Chancellor Fidel Nemenzo, Vice President Maria Cynthia Rose Bautista, Dr. Cynthia Salama, Dr. Neil Andrew Bascos, and the rest of the PPM team, our Balik scientist Dr. Doralyn Dalisan, Dr. Jaime Montoya, colleagues both from the UP and the DOST, and everyone who joined us physically and virtually in this inauguration. A blessed morning to all of you. Magandang agham po sa ating lahat. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate the Philippine Genome Center on the official opening of the Protein, Proteomics, and Metabolomics, or PPM, facility. I understand that there were plans to hold a soft opening last year, but the pandemic has pushed the opening to this day. It takes a lot of effort to prepare ceremonies. However, they are fleeting. What matters is the reason why we are celebrating. Even without the pomp and circumstance, the PPM facility is already being used, albeit by a limited clientele. This inauguration is now an opportunity to open up the PPM services to more industries and encourage young students to take interest in biological sciences. Dr. Bascos and his team began this project in 2019, and part of their mission is to attract student researchers. In early 2019, this seemed like a simple enough task. We open up a facility for biological research. We try to host events that tie up to the use of the facility, we invite researchers to come and use the facilities or hold field trips for students to stimulate their interest about what we do in the field of biological research. And hopefully in the long run, there will be more young people signing up for STEM careers. But then, and then it happened. None of us could have foreseen an event as disruptive as COVID-19. We saw so many doors closing for many enterprises and we lost many opportunities. But oddly enough, the pandemic has opened a very wide door for the Philippine Genome Center. As unfortunate as it sounds, we have found COVID-19 to be an effective catalyst for science and technology activities. Many of the data that our government and the public rely on come from the hard work of the people in the Philippine Genome Center. And these efforts will not remain unseen and unappreciated. From training the country's laboratory technicians on the use of the Gen Amplify kit to tirelessly sequencing samples and providing us with relevant data, PGC remained a presence across all media platforms. It has surely been a busy year, and the following weeks will definitely be busier as we continue to combat mutations and spikes in COVID-19 cases. We don't know how long this setup will last, which is why we need more people like you. Your work on COVID-19 are beacons that we could harness enlighten our youth about the importance of science and research in improving the lives of our people. At the moment, 
Most young people are attracted to information and communications technology or ICT jobs, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But in the near future, according to data from the Philippine Institute for Development Studies, this will cause an oversupply of IT professionals, while other sectors such as life sciences, physical sciences, mathematics, statistics, and engineering will experience drought. This skew in interest could greatly be attributed to the Filipinos' inclination to provide for our families the soonest that we could, which again, is not a bad thing. In fact, it is a very, very good thing. We all find ways to make life better and easier for our families, which is not at all different from what we in the research community are working on. Though we may not provide them with immediate tangible assistance, once we are able to roll out our products, technologies, and services, kahit papaano nakakatulong din tayong matulungan ang kanilang mga pamilya. In the greater scheme of things, we Filipinos are family. Magkakalahi tayo at magtutulong-tulungan talaga tayo. Yes, it may not be that easy to immediately instill a sense of higher purpose among young Filipinos, especially during this time, but perhaps we could communicate hope. Hope is much needed now. As our scientists in the PGC continue to work, there is hope that things will get better. As we provide data from our research, there is hope that there will be better vaccines, more effective treatments, better policies, and better practices. This will not happen overnight, but there is an eventuality that we could look forward to, and the young people could all be part when they decide to join us in the bioresearch community. At the moment, we may not be able to bring young people here as planned, but it is perhaps timely to seize this opportunity in finding ways to communicate with them directly so that when the day comes, when they are all free to move about, there will be more young people who would have taken interest in STEM careers and consequently the use of these facilities. Even with the PPM facilities opening, there is still much work to be done. And we at DOST are always willing to walk with the PPMS team in their journey. Again, to PGC and the PPMF team, congratulations, mm -hmm. and we look forward to the success of all your endeavors. Marami salamat po, at muli magandang agham sa ating lahat. Maraming salamat sa iyong mensahe, Yusek Yavara. We are also proud to welcome the Executive Director of the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, Dr. Jaime Simon Toya, for his message. To the Department of Science and Technology Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña, DOST Undersecretary for Research and Development, Rowena Cristina Guevara, our partners from the University of the Philippines, President Danilo Concepcion, and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Maria Cynthia Rose Bautista, UP Diliman Chancellor Fidel Nemenso, our partners from the Philippine Genome Center, Executive Director Dr. Cynthia Palme Saloma, and Protein, Proteomics, and Metabolomics Facility Program Director, Dr. Neil Andrew Bascos, and Dr. Dora Lindalisay from the University of San Agustin. Our moderator, Michelette Monson, guests, participants, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I would like to first and foremost express my deepest appreciation to everyone for joining us today to witness this symbolic inauguration of the Philippine Genome Center's Protein Proteomics and Metabolomics, or PPM, facility. A decade ago, the UPPGC was born out of the collaboration of many great Filipino experts and institutions 
who believe that the field of omics is a game changer in informing and transforming public health. Today, I am sure all of you will agree that this institution and the field we have been significant in countless ways, especially in realizing the goal of personalized medicine, or what we call in PCHRD, as lunas na sakto para sa Pilipino. Nowhere is this goal certain without investment, partnerships, and interventions to fuel research breakthroughs that will provide research-based knowledge. You see, today's theme is indeed timely and still relevant as it is imperative to bridge the gap of omics research in the country, especially now that we see a battle against a pandemic. With science at the forefront of our interventions and omics among our arsenal of research methods, I am confident that the goal of personalized medicine is forthcoming. Of course, alongside this mission, we recognize that we need to invest and put in a lot of effort and hard work, including the establishment of facilities and laboratories that will house the many research work and breakthroughs that our scientists and are conducting and are about to do in omics research. Today's event is meaningful, not just for the PGC family, but also for the DOST and the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, as it is a reflection of our efforts in putting premium investments on omics research, recognizing its increasing importance in the field of medicine and healthcare. More so, it symbolizes another milestone for the Filipino people, as all of these initiatives are hinged on bringing science closer to them and making their lives better through health research. With the opening of the PPM facility, I am confident that countless research opportunities and ongoing interventions in omics will come to fruition. May today's event serve as a venue for everyone to discuss the many potentials and the possible ways to utilize this facility. Finally, I would like to congratulate the Philippine Genome Center family, our partners, and the stakeholders on this milestone. We at DOST and PCHRD are proud of those whose contributions have paved the way to finally give rise to the PPM facility. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat at mabuhay ang UP Philippine Genome Center. Maraming salamat para sa mensahe mo, Dr. Montoya. We now welcome President Danilo L. Concepcion of the University of the Philippines for his message. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Mula sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, isang maalab na pagbati sa UP Philippine Genome Center at sa lahat ng kanyang mga dalubhasa at siyentista, mga katuwang na mananaliksik sa iba't ibang disiplina at mga kawani sa okasyon ng pagpapasinaya sa bagong protein, proteomics, and metabolomics facility ng UP PGC. Congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Congratulations din sa mga opisyales ng UPPGC sa pamumuno ni Dr. Cynthia Saloma, ang Executive Director, at ni Dr. Neil Andre Bascos, ang Program Director naman ng bago nating pasilidad. Naririto tayo ngayon upang ipagdiwang ang bunga ng inyong mga masinsinang pagpaplano upang itaguyod ang pagpapaunlad sa kakayahan at kaalamang pang-agham ng bayan. 
Malaking pasasalamat po sa inyong lahat. Ako po ay taos puso nagpapasalamat din sa DOST sa suporta ang ibinigay nila sa UPPGC upang maitayo ang PPMF. Ito ay nagsimula sa 175 million na funding support na inilaan ng DOST para sa mga modernong kagamitan, equipment, at instrumento na kinakailangan ng pasilidad na ito at ang tuloy-tuloy na pagsuporta hanggang ngayon dahil sa mabigat na pangangailangan ng panahon. Maraming maraming salamat po, Secretary Fortunato de la Peña at sa lahat ng mga opisyales ng DOST sa inyong patuloy na pagkilala at pagtitiwala sa UPPGC. Sa tulong po ninyo, Nagagampanan namin ng buong kahusayan ang tungkulin namin bilang pambansang pamantasan na pangalagaan ng buhay, kalusugan, at kapakanan ng ating mga mamamayan. In previous years, for most of the general public, the various branches of science known informally as the omics and the scientific research being conducted by the Philippine Genome Center might have seemed esoteric and unheard of in ordinary life. Unless you study, work, and do research in the STEM fields, you rarely come across such words such as genomics, proteomics, metabolomics, and transcriptomics in your day-to-day -day living. But the work that the PGC and its team of brilliant, hard-working scientists and researchers do is invaluable. This work includes sequencing an organism's genes, screening libraries of chemical compounds to identify new drug molecules to fight disease, profiling RNA transcripts to measure gene activity, to study proteins, metabolites, and microorganisms, in interpreting this massive amount of data in ways that would produce new biological insights in order to provide molecular diagnostic services to doctors and patients, and so much more. All of these work outputs contribute directly to the development of pharmaceuticals and the health sector, the development of agriculture, livestock, fisheries, biodiversity research and conservation, the development of forensics and ethnicity studies, and the improvement of private industries and a sustainable environment. I've read an article describing the omics as biological alchemy. But what the PGC and its scientists do is so much better. Not alchemy, but sound expert science being conducted by the best minds in the country. I find it fitting that the development phase of the PGC in 2008 and 2009 was marked by events such as the dengue outbreak in the country, the SARS outbreak in Hong Kong, and the H1N1 outbreak in Mexico. The first two grants of the PGC were for the development of technologies to combat diseases at the Dengue Diagnostic Test and the H1N1 Surveillance Network. Today, with the country and the world in the grip of a new viral infection, the PGC has become a household word. Far from being an esoteric science, the work you do is now recognized nationwide to be critical, necessary, and directly relevant to our health and to our lives. You serve as the frontliners in a war that can only be won by the science that you do. And day in and day out, tirelessly and with courage, even at the risk to your health, you continue to conduct biosurveillance to track the progress of this virus and help our healthcare system and national government in crafting appropriate responses to the pandemic. For this remarkable work and sacrifice, we salute all of you. On behalf of the UP community, I would like to say 
Thank you for your services. Thank you for your sacrifice. And not just for your quiet heroism in this most trying time. Through your efforts, the university is helping the country make significant strides toward achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. This is a dire need, given that the pandemic has caused stagnation or reversals in progress made by all countries concerning the fulfillment of the SDGs. I mention in particular SDG3, or Good Health and Well-Being, which the scientific research being conducted by the PGC is directly contributing to. However, the PGC's services aid our advancement in not just one, but several SDGs. These are SDG2 by helping promote sustainable agriculture, SDG9 by assisting private industries in innovating their processes and making them more sustainable. The SDGs have to do with conserving, protecting, and wisely developing our marine and land biodiversity, and many more. With the inauguration of the protein, proteomics, and metabolomics facility, the PGC is given another tool in its tool belt. For instance, some of the laboratory equipment in the PPMF include an ultra-high pressure liquid chromatography system and a high-resolution mass spectrometer. These are being used in the purification, quantification, and identification of target compounds. The PPMF will serve as a venue for collaborative and interdisciplinary work on proteomics and metabolomics research in the university to serve the government, the public, and private industries. The field that stands to benefit the most is the pharmaceutical sector with research for the discovery of new medicines to combat diseases, cancer research, and biomarker research, among others. And like the rest of the UP community, I shall await the PGC PPMF's contribution to the development of the country's scientific capability and the improved health and well being of our people well into the next normal. Once again, congratulations for this new facility. Muli binabati ko kayong lahat at nagpapasalamat ako sa napakagandang simula ng PGC PPMF. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Can you hear me? Sorry. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay. Secretary Boy de la Peña, Yusek uh, Rowena Guevara, Yusek Jimmy Montoya, PGC Executive Director Cynthia Saloma, OIC and Deputy Executive Director Raul Destura, PPMF uh, Program Leader Neil Vascos, Dr. Dalisay, colleagues and friends in PGC and the university, a pleasant morning to everyone. Let me extend a hearty congratulations to PGC Executive Director Cynthia Saloma, the PGC family, and Dr. Neil and his team on this auspicious inauguration of the protein, proteomics, and metabolomics facility, which of course would not have been possible without the DOST Philippine Council for Rural for Health Research and Development's unstinting commitment translated to funding support for the very significant project of laying the infrastructure for the conduct of proteomics and metabolomics studies in the country. There are at least three fields that are relatively at the frontier in the Philippines for which UP as a country's national university is expected to develop expertise in, as well as the ability to translate discoveries into innovations and technolo technological solutions to the country's problems. These are the omics sciences, data science and artificial intelligence. Today's launching reflects UP's movement towards fulfilling this expectation for the development of the omic sciences. Coupled with a DNA sequencing core facility, the equipment and team working on PPM, the PP, in the PPM facility will enable PGC 
to facilitate the development of genomics, proteomics, and the newest omics science, metabolomics, and yes, bridge the gap in the omics research. It is a valuable gift to those of you working in the life sciences. More importantly, however, it will help optimize the university's contributions to the development of agriculture, health, and forensics. I am not a natural scientist, but what I find exciting are the many possibilities the facility we are inaugurating today will open up. For aside from identifying diagnostic markers, proteomics and metabolomics can be used in the discovery of molecules that can be developed into drugs for humans and animals, as well as cures for plant diseases. Even more exciting is the possibility of what Yusek Montoya referred to as personalized medicine, of developing medicines that are suitable to the genetic makeup of Filipinos and the animals and plants endemic to this country. Thank you once again to the OST for making the potential contributions of the omic sciences to our people closer to actualization. To Dr. Bascos and his team for breathing life to the PP, uh, PPM uh, facility, and to the PGC family for consistently and painstakingly moving from strength to strength, not for itself, not for UP, but for the Filipino people and the advancement of science for humanity. After all, PGC is in UP and is moved by UP experts, but in more ways than one. It is merely hosted by UP for the Philippines. As the PGC mantra goes, PGC para sa bayan. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Thank you, VP Sinch. We will now proceed with the ribbon cutting ceremony. While we would love to welcome you all to the PGC to visit our newest facility, we believe in ensuring safety first. That's why we couldn't hold a traditional ribbon cutting ceremony during this health crisis. But we are not to be deterred. While we may not be able to do the standard ribbon cutting ceremony today, We've taken this opportunity to use a virtual ribbon cutting ceremony to formally open the operations of the PPMF and introduce one of our key services at the same time. At the core of the analyses that may be done at the PPMF is the identification of target proteins. It is therefore fitting that our ribbon cutting ceremony during this virtual event be represented with the cleavage of a protein ribbon. Protein ribbons, or polypeptide strings, are often identified by the fragments that are generated by proteolytic enzymes called proteases. In this same way, we recognize the contributions of select individuals in the establishment of the PPMF. Through the action of these proteases, characteristic peptide fragments are generated. These are then segregated through several techniques like PAGE, and then analyzed through a mass spectrometer. The generated mass spectrum then reveals the identity of the target protein. We now formally open the operations of the PGC PPMF. Wow, there was a fun and exciting simulation of a protein ribbon cutting. To the next part of our ceremony, we shall unveil the marker for the PPM facility. To commemorate its start of operations, this marker will be placed at the entrance of the protein, proteomics, and metabolomics facility. It reads, the Philippine Genome Center, Protein, Proteomics, and Metabolomics Facility, built by the people of the Republic of the Philippines through the Department of Science and Technology, Philippine Council for Health Research and Development. The PGC PPMF provides enhanced capacity for Philippine researchers to conduct relevant studies utilizing the latest technologies for high resolution mass spectrometric analysis and biophysical characterization. Inaugurated on the fourth day of October 2021, may this facility serve as a focus for the collaboration of the government, the academe, and industry.
for the benefit of the nation. The marker that you see now is placed at the PPM facility located at the second floor of the PGC building. Part of the PPMF inauguration, we are also officially launching the Protein Proteomics and Metal Metabolomics Facility website. Let's have a look at what's in store for you when you visit us. To introduce the website, here is PPMF's lab manager, Robert Ortega. Welcome to PPMF. It's nice to have you with us. Are you interested in availing our services? Well, look no further. Getting information about our services is easily done through PPMF's new website. Come have a look with us. To access the PPMF website, simply visit pgc.up.edu.ph. Under the Services tab, click Protein, Proteomics, and Metabolomics. The PPMF website is your guide to know more about the services offered by the facility. Upon entering the website, you are greeted by a series of icons that showcases the capabilities of the PPMF. Clicking on each service brings you to a new web page that shows different types of analysis that can be performed for your sample. Another way to access the PPMF services is through the navigation pane located on this side of the website. The PPMF also offers personalized research workflows through modular analysis plans or maps. As guides, the PPMF website provides sample workflows for biomarker discovery and recombinant protein characterization. Our staff will work with you to build your own research map from our list of services. To proceed with your intended services, you can also access and download the required forms for submission. Got some questions? You can head over to the Frequently Asked Questions page to find out more. Still haven't found the answer to your questions? Don't hesitate to email us at ppmfacility at pgc.up.edu.ph or call us through our telephone number at 898-18500 local 4711. We look forward to working with you. The Protein, Proteomics, and Metabolomics Facility of the Philippine Genome Center. Expanding omics capabilities for a better Philippines. We would now like to welcome Dr. Dora Linda Lisay, Director of the Center for Chemical Biology and Biotechnology from the University of San Agustin, to give a testimonial speech for the ceremony. Welcome, Dr. Dalisay. To our dear DOST Secretary, Fortunato de la Peña, DOST Undersecretary, Rowena Cristina Guevara, DOST PCHRD Executive Director, Dr. Jaime Montoya, UP President, Attorney Danilo Concepcion, UP Diliman Chancellor, Dr. Fidel Nimenzo, UP PGC Executive Director, Dr. Cynthia Palma Saloma, and to all stakeholders of UP PGC, good morning. My name is Doralene Delisa and I serve as a member of the PPMF Advisory Board. First of all, I warmly congratulate Dr. Neil Vasquez, the Program Director of the PGC PPMF for this milestone. Your selfless 
dedication in ensuring the successful establishment of this facility is highly commendable. And of course, the dynamic leadership of Dr. Cynthia Palme Saloma and her tireless team for laying down the foundation of this PPMF to grow and prosper. Congratulations. The establishment of PPMF in UPTGC represents an exciting venture for the OSD into rapidly expanding field of omics research in the country with specific emphasis on core capabilities in proteomics and metabolomics. The addition of PPMF in UPTGC completes the country's four major platforms of comprehensive omics service and training facilities. These four significant platforms utilize emerging technologies, turning scientists into molecular detectives to comprehensively understand the biological system. The goal of multi-omics is simple. Genomics helps us know what can happen. Transcriptomics assists us in knowing what appears to be happening. Proteomics determines what makes it happen. And Metabolomics discovers what has happened. Multiomics aims to identify molecular markers associated with biological processes by revealing the regulatory units across various omics layers. For example, information obtained from DNA and RNA, proteins, and metabolites. Multiomics provides insight in understanding the mechanisms underlying biological processes and molecular function, interactions, and cellular phase, whether in vitro or in vivo, to reveal molecular phenotypes. These omic technologies aim at understanding a particular problem in human disease, agriculture, plant science, microbiology, nutrition, and the environmental conditions that impact the lives of Filipinos. Thus, the ultimate purpose of applied multi-omics is to increase the diagnostic yield for health, improve disease prognosis, and produce improved agricultural outputs via a robust understanding of genotype to phenotype relationship, thus providing better lives to Filipinos. Equipped with the latest mass spectrometric instrumentation, the PPMF combines cutting edge analytical technology with state of the art methodology to provide the best possible results and expertise to Filipino scientists and researchers. Proteomics and metabolomics technologies are applied in medical related fields with significant impacts on life, food, and plant sciences drug development, toxicology, environmental science, and medicine concerning the Filipino community. It can be applied in personalized medicine. Tailoring disease treatment to each patient based on their genetic and epigenetic makeup so as to improve efficacy and reduce adverse effects. While genomics and transcriptomics have been the main focus of such studies to date, Proteomics data will likely add a further dimension for patient-specific management. Proteomics and metabolomics are also applied in biomarker discovery and cancer research, identification of protein and metabolite markers, for example, in the diagnosis and prognosis of diabetic kidney disease, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, prostate cancer, breast cancer, and other cancer diseases. The drug discovery and development and drug efficacy is also one of areas where in proteomics and metabolomics can be applied. Identifying potential drug targets, examining the drugability of selected protein targets, and developing drugs in a candidate therapeutic protein targets understanding the drug metabolism and, the, and efficacy of drugs and its metabolites are also areas wherein we could get information from proteomics and metabolomics. Proteomics and metabolomics are also applied in systems biology, system-wide investigations of disease pathways, 
and host pathogen interactions to identify potential biomarkers and therapeutic agents, system-wide investigation of drug action and resistance and toxicity and efficacy. These platforms can also be applied in agriculture, fisheries, and biotechnology, such as investigations of plant pathogen interactions, fish pathogen interactions, crop engineering for increased resilience, for example, during drought and other environmental stresses. It can also be applied in food science and nutrition. Food safety and quality control can be identified in hypertronics and metabolomics, followed by allergen detection and improving the nutritional value of food. Paleoprotonics and biodiversity can also be used as an area that we could apply protonics and metabolomics. The study of ancient proteins to further our understanding of evolution and biodiversity. The PPMF establishment through the steadfast support of DOST is tangible proof that UPPGC continues to arm Filipino scientists and researchers with new technology platforms to tackle scientific questions that were unsolvable before, to advance research innovation, and to increase global competitiveness for economic growth. I highly commend the leadership of UPPGC for throwing the less beaten people, overcoming the challenges and reaping the fruits of their labor. My sincerest congratulations and I anticipate seeing great things from the facility in the future. Mabuhay ang UP, PGC, PPMF. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Maraming salamat sa inyong inspiring message, Dr. Dalisay. While we still have time, let's use this opportunity for some Q&A. To facilitate, let me introduce to you one of the PPMF team members, Ms. Stephanie Caranza. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Should you have any questions, please feel free to click on the question tab at the bottom of your Zoom window. Our moderators will forward the question accordingly. First, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of the following individuals, Dr. Dorlin Delisay and our very own facility director, Dr. Neil Pascos. Morning, Steph. Morning, Ma'am Dorlin. Morning. Morning. Good morning, everyone that's joining us for this event. Thank you very much. And while we wait for questions from our audience, we begin with the first. Dr. Delisay and Dr. Pascos, where do you hope to see the Philippines' omics research 10 years from now? Maybe, Ma'am Doralyn, would, would you want to go ahead with this one first? Sure, sure. So, um, so congratulations again, Neil and team. Thank you, Ma'am. Uh, for this uh, you know, establishment and then inauguration. So I see the last, in the, the next 10 years, that the Philippines will be able to come up with a scientific-based uh, information, particularly in the health aspect of um, health research in the Philippines. So um, it would give us more information not only on the genome sites, but very holistic, like the, the whole uh, um, aspect of, of, of the, the biology of the individual pertaining to and so um, this um, advancing of the health research in the country really needs collaboration from other stakeholders and collaboration from other institutes, perhaps hospitals, uh, uh, scientists from the hospitals, and also clinicians that can involve in this aspect. And also, um, we I foresee that the collaboration that only among the scientists in the National Capital Region, but scientists uh, in science and in the now can also partake in this and push forward the health research advances in our country. So I 
I think we are in the right direction, particularly on preparing our country, not only for this pandemic, and, uh, but of course for any other types of diseases that will strike our country in the future. So perhaps what we have established here in PGC, PPMF, would help us establish bases, scientific bases, and where we are heading, how can we tackle this problem? Should there be there should there be novel diseases and new diseases that could strike the Philippines? Thank you, Ma'am Dorlin. And so I, I'd like to take off from there to uh, focus on, of course, on something that has been uh, stated in the past few uh, messages, and that is the need for collaboration. And I think that's something that I wish for, and I hope we really can, no, not I hope, we really can, but we will work for, towards. No? So I, I, take my, um, I take my inspiration here from the Philippine Genome Center, wherein uh, in the past few years, we've seen it grow from when it was just uh, uh, a dream until now where it's act actively taking part in, in making a difference in the response of our country towards COVID-19. And, and really what helps that is the, is the way that uh, we've had the chance to involve many, many people, many, many collabor collaborators across the country. So the PGC, of course, is situated mainly in Diliman, but we have had, to ex uh, had a chance to expand uh, throughout the country. Now we have PGC besides, we have PGC Mindanao, we have, of course, the agricultural sectors uh, headed in PGC UPLD. Um, and I think that's what's needed. And um, with, with that uh, collaboration and the capacity that is now provided through the um, infrastructure that has been invested by the Philippine government, I believe we really can find solutions to a lot of very relevant problems that our, our countrymen have. And I hope that we can play a role in that. Okay. I see. Thank you for your answer, Dr. Delisa and Dr. Pascos. Um, I think it's true that the collaborations will be very vital in its success. We have a question from Mr. Ronda. His question being, will the PPMF be a key infrastructure for the drug development research of Dr. Delisai aiming to develop a new super antibiotic? Ma'am. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much for that question. Yes, uh, with, the, with the presence of the high resolution mass spectrometry, which is very important in identifying our compounds that we isolate here in the University of San Francisco, this will, the PPMF will serve as our, as our uh, partners on doing this. So we, we have our facility here as well in, in the University of San Agustin, but we need state-of-the-art facility, particularly identifying the high-resolution mass uh, of the compounds or the antibiotics that we have. That's why uh, this PPMF is a collaboration also between the University of San Agustin, which we will be discussing later on, Dr. Neil, on that aspect. Um, in drug discovery and development. Thank yes, you, ma'am. We We're very much excited to work with you on this project. And uh, again, Dr. Dalisa had pointed out earlier that she's part of our advisory panel. And that's, that's something that we've uh, tried to really work on you know, as, as we established this facility. We really sought out experts in the different applications that uh, we hope the PPMF would have to find out what really is needed to, to advance the capacity of the country in, in doing these types of research. And so uh, we've, we've tried to do that now, and we hope really that we can uh, try to work with Ma'am Delisa and all their other experts as well. And uh, we're still actively seeking your advice, uh, all other potential researchers, to see how we can best help. That's, that's how we want uh, PPMF to serve. I see. Thank you, Dr. Delisay, again, and Dr. Bascos for that answer. We have another question um, from Mr. Fabai. He asks, 
How does PGC reach Mindanao, specifically in conflict-affected areas such as in BARMM? Mindanao is very rich in natural resources where PGC needs genomic study. Um, I think the, the closest thing we have now to trying to reach this goal is the expansion of PGC with PGC Mindanao. So there is a, um, a, a, a part of PGC that is already established as PGC Mindanao. Uh, it's currently still um, being uh, upgraded. You know? uh, most of its uh, capabilities right now are mainly focusing on genomics, but of course, being part of the PGC network, it has access to all available facilities that uh, the PGC has. And uh, regarding the question on how you reach the slightly more difficult regions, uh, that is something that we hope we can work with with the local, um, with the local government and also you know the, the experts that, that are in the area because they would know best how we are best to handle these types of situations. And uh, yeah, I, I think the key goal here and is really to be able to work together. So we can try to talk about how it is that we can best help you and we'll see how we can make accommodations for that. Okay. And another question just came in from Mrs. Ms. Panis, Vivian Panis. Good morning. How cost effective will be the services and use of facilities of the PPMF for researchers outside UP, particularly for private higher education institute researchers, I have noticed that sequencing services in PGC are relatively expensive compared to private companies abroad. Thanks. Okay. Um, regarding that, so we've, uh, we've tried to come up with a pricing scheme. Of course, we, we will discuss these with you uh, upon request. Um, but, and that has been uh, designed based on market studies of what is a, you know, feasible levels of pricing, considering the necessary maintenance and uh, reagent uh, acquisition costs that would come with, with the running of the experiments. Um, as far as we know, in the current computed scheme, uh, we are quite uh, compatible uh, and uh, competitive with uh, international, um, international labs. The, one thing that we would want to consider you know, when, when we, of course, try to promote our own facilities here is one, the importance really of getting to do our own research here within the country. Uh, now we, we do have the capacity. And two, um, we sometimes highlight also, for example, that the, the, especially in times wherein the transport of material may be quite com uh, complicated, you know? I mean, just, just like right now, uh, the local resources that we have for the analysis would be more accessible to a lot of the researchers rather than being, uh, you know, having trouble to send them outside. But of course, we are very much willing to uh, discuss discuss the uh, the um, the terms of of the planned uh, services that that you would want to acquire from this from the facility. Can can I add on that? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes. Yeah, I would encourage uh, private institutions like higher uh, HEIs, for example, to, to create or contact uh, PGC, PPMF, perhaps to create a memorandum of understanding or agreement. Yeah. Uh, in that case, you will be able to, to be served based on that terms uh, in the MOA. And also you could perhaps give given a, a um, loyalty or, for example, a priority service um, availability and also in pricing. Because sending one sample for analysis is very expensive. Uh, it's not only for PPMS. It's, it's in, in other types of si um, services that requires high precision. And so I encourage those who are students, perhaps, or even researchers who are young researchers uh, in a private institution or a state, uh, state universities 
to, to partner with PPMS and create all these agreements so that it's not just, it, 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 you can get um, perhaps a discounted rate if you could send <laughs> off or within like a project that you have rather than sending an individual. An individual. And, and once you have the MOA or the MOU agreement settled, then it will cover all throughout a certain year or a certain time that your project will be uh, implemented or really depend on, on what you wanted to have in the MOA. And I think that would help both the researchers and also that will also sustain the PPMF when it comes to to, to, to sustaining the services and plus the preventive maintenance uh, required for, for the industry. So I, I think um, that that would be one of the suggestions that I would like to give. Thank you, Ma'am Doralyn, for that suggestion. And yes, definitely, uh, we welcome, we welcome uh, discussions on how we can work together. Okay, Steph. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Um, and while we wait for any other questions from our audience, um, throughout the webinar, we've come across several aspects of um, our economy and our development as a country um, requiring research and development and um, where they can benefit from omics research. Um, which of these aspects do you think would have the greatest impact um, with omics research incorporated and which of these impacts would you consider require the most needed attention and action? Um, Go with back. The, yes, with the, the multi-omics uh, platform, I think the, the biggest impact that we could get here is on, on trying to understand the data. It's a data science-driven type of work and so we need a critical mass of data scientists. It's not just scientists and natural sciences, but we need to take uh, an important the implementation, implementation of all this research, but also we need a critical mass for data and, uh, analyst, uh, in, uh, informatics, because um, the instruments are there. They are state of the heart, uh, a state of the art instruments. They are high resolution when it comes to high precision as well. But take note, the data that comes out of this instrument will not be uh, meaningful if this will not be uh, analyzed well. And so um, data scientists, one impact of this is we need to create and develop uh, data scientists that we look into data pertaining to natural sciences, data in genomics, data in proteomics, data in metabolomics, because we will be bombarded with what we call as big data science here. And I think that is a major um, challenge that we have to look into this as we progress with the PPMS, uh, because um, yes, it will give us these numbers but if these numbers will not make sense at all, how can we create a meaningful science and data-driven um, policies or um, analysis pertaining to health or pertaining to, to agriculture? So I think uh, we, we really put a lot of effort in, in um, producing and training data Individual to Thank you, Ma'am Dadisa. And I'd like to augment that uh, answer by, by saying that uh, definitely there is this need to increase our uh, capacity to do relevant research. And, and we've had tried to increase that one in, in one way by providing the infrastructure, but the, the people, you know, the human resource uh, is really very a very important aspect of this to be to be successful and today we celebrate of course the opening of, of the facility and how now we can do a lot of the science um, the next phase the next phase which we really uh, will be working on is now to um, build the capacity of the users to be able to design the experiments that would lead to 
um, easily translatable, easily um, applied, easily applied data that that can actually be used to solve specific problems that they may you know may have in their in their own regions. So uh, we recognize that uh, this particular project, the TPMF, is a very long term goal. Uh, so so what we've had a chance to to start now, we hope to continue um, by a series of webinars that we uh, we will be having in the next coming months, and of course the discussions with potential clients to see how you know we, we can really utilize the available resources that we have, and to be able to help. I see. Thank you for the insightful answers, Dr. Delisa and Dr. Bascos. And now I'd like to bring the floor back to Mam Shalet. Thank you so much for taking part in our Q&A yeah. to those who ask questions and for the answers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Steph and Dr. Bascos and Dr. Dalisay, and for those who have sent in their questions. And finally, to officially close the program, let us listen to the message of the PPMF team led by Dr. Neil Andro D. Bascos, Program Director of the PGC PPMF. The OSC Secretary Fortunato de la Peña, Under Secretary Irwena Guevara, DOST PCHRD Executive Director Jaime C. Montoya, UP President Danilo L. Concepcion, UP Vice President for Academic Affairs Maria Cynthia Rose Pounson Bautista, UP Diliman Chancellor Fidel Nemenso, Executive Director of the Philippine Genome Center Dr. Cynthia P. Saloma, dear colleagues, guests, and friends, good morning. On behalf of the PGC PTMF staff, I would like to express our heartfelt appreciation for your continued encouragement guidance, and support as we work towards the establishment of the first protein, proteomics, and metabolomics facility in the country. It has been a long road. It has been paved with vials of blood, buckets of sweat, reams and reams and reams of procurement papers and reports, not just a few tears and a pandemic. And not despite, but through these shared experiences with you, our partners in this quest officials and staff of the DOST PCHRD, the people of the BUP system, the Philippine Genome Center, Brownstein Asia Tech, and our other suppliers, collaborating institutions in the academe, government, and industry. We have reached our goal. With you, we are proud to bring forth the country's most advanced facility for high-resolution mass spectrometry analysis. With this resource, we significantly expand the capacity of Philippine researchers to utilize multi-omics technologies for their relevant results. Since we began this project back in 2019, we have been receiving many inquiries and requests from various researchers that would want to employ multi-omics technology in their studies. Before today, we have had to regretfully state that these types of studies would have to be outsourced. Sadly, we have had to say, we can't do this in the Philippines. Today, things change. On this day, we officially begin our operations as a functional multi-omics research and service facility. We gratefully welcome the opportunity and responsibility to help our fellow researchers in their efforts to improve the lives of Filipinos through advancements in the health, agricultural, and industrial sectors. We thank you for your trust. They say it takes a village to raise a child. For this huge project, we ask for the help of a nation. The Filipino people entrusted us with a great resource, and the PGC PPMF will continuously strive to pay it forward. Welcome to the PGC PPMF. Once again, we sincerely thank everyone for joining us today. We would also like to notify all pre-registered attendees that a survey will be sent via email. We very much appreciate your feedback. This survey will stay open until October 5. 
Thank you for all your patience. And we would like to wish everybody a happy and healthy day. And we also hope to see you in our future events. Once again, this is PGC Para Sabaya.